Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 21e. The question says, open the file task 21e.htm, set the table to be 400 pixels wide and each row to be 50 pixels high. Set the left column to be 280 pixels wide, okay? So when we talk about the table to be 400 pixels, we are, we are going to look at we are referring to the table tag here and then of course this row is talking about the, the TR and then of course the column we are going to be referring to is actually referring to the TH or the TP. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my file task21e.htm so I'm going to open this in a browser and see how the table looks like. So this is the table. So we want to adjust the, the rows and the, um, the, the table uh, width, okay? Good. So the first thing I'm going to do is to, first of all, open this in Notepad. So I right click on it and then go to Notepad, okay? So I'm going to affect uh, 400 pixels on the, the, the table, that is on the table, the opening tag of the table. So I'm going to have the style, okay? equals uh, to the style attributes and then I'm, I'm going to have a property name of course the width we're going to adjust the width here and then of course the uh, value I'm going to have the 400 x right here so I'm going to save this and then go back and refresh my page and see the effect As you can see the table width has changed to 400 pixels okay so the next thing we're going to do is to increase the, the height of the rows okay so i'm going to do i'm going to increase the height for the the p uh what's called the t head the header and then the footer right here so so i'm going to locate the pr okay so we're, going to, we're talking about the pr here so where is the header so i have the header the opening tag of the header here so i'm going to just go to the, the pr the first pr there okay because this is the code for the header that is the fruit and the price okay so i'm going to just go right there and then of course input my style sorry and then have uh, my property name so i'm going to have height there height let me just be sure for one thing so the rule to be 50 pixels high okay so so we're going to be talking about 50 pixels here so um i have sorry those be column and then 50 pixels sorry. 50 pixels okay so that's for the for the first row which is the td within the, the, the sorry within the table head the th head, the th head okay so i'm going to go to the t put also so i'm going to have the the okay so simply to copy this so i'm going to just copy this uh the, the uh, right there and then paste this so i expect the the height of the row um, I expect this, so I've saved this and then I'm going to go to this. So I expect this total here, this row, this row here, and then the first row here to increase with the row height to increase as I refresh. So let me refresh and see. So when I refresh two of them, they change. So what I'm going to do now is to apply the same property or the same style, okay? I'm going to apply the same style within every TR, okay? The green tag. The starting tag of all TR within this table to, to affect all those other parts. Okay, so I'm going to simply move fast now. So I'm going to find all the TRs now. So this, find this, we do take care of this, and I think that's all. So let me let me save the changes and then refresh the page and see whether everything be affected. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't miss anything. So all of them have got uh, they've gotten uh, 50 pixels high. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to adjust the the um, the width of the left column here, okay, the fruits, where really the fruits, the fruit column, the uh, column here. So I'm going to really 
I'm going to just adjust the, the width, which is about um, yeah, uh, 200, 280 pixels. Okay, so of course we're going to do this within the we're going to do, do this within the uh, the TD or the TH. So I'm going to just go to any either the TH or the TD. So, but in this case, let me just take the TH. So if I give it the style the th within the head i'll just give it uh, the width should be 280 so i'll give it width change this to 280 pixel same property uh, as required 280 okay so i'm going to save that and then look at our adjustment and then it pushes it to it pushes the table uh width or the uh, the column width to 280 pixels okay so that is how you can do this now the type of css there are about three types of um, css we have um, um inline css we have internal css or embedded css and external css so i'm using i'm using what i'm using here is actually the embedded css so i'm just writing the css within you know the tags and the html so later on we're going to see how we're going to write the css differently and then attach them to a particular um, uh, HTML file and then see how it's going to change okay now also the, the, this TR so let me assume let me just remove this let me just uh, remove this and then you can see uh, let me just um, okay, I've copied that and then but let me just cut it completely if I remove this now this line of code from the T the TH here so let me apply it on any T and then see what's gonna happen on any TD opening tag of course of any TD. So I'm going to save that and then I'll go back to my file and as you can see nothing changes. You notice what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, let me just remove it completely and then refresh the page and then see the change. So it doesn't matter the TD where you put this tile, it's going to it's going to affect all other TDs will take the same shape. So it's gonna push the the width of the code so so it doesn't matter where you put it unlike the tr where you have to put the code in every tr so i'm going to go back um refresh this and see the changes so it, it snapped back to how it was right so now i'm going to attach the code to any any td any td now not tk this time around so i'm going to go back uh okay i'm just getting back here so i didn't put it on tk this time around i just left it in td so any td within the table will do the job for you for the, the table i mean for the column width so i'm going to save that change and then go ahead to refresh and then see that it pushes it so any any td does the job for you. okay so i think that's about it this is how you can uh, adjust um, and resize the table okay so we're going to be looking at that a little more as we proceed how we can do that more effectively okay now and that i want to explain to us now if i adjust this now let, let's say i adjust my browser as so you can see this is this is actually a a fixed a fixed uh, table with the 400 pixels i will talk about as you can see i cannot adjust my browser further than this so i can once i adjust it down here then you see the uh the school bar coming up okay so we're going to look at how we can actually uh, you know, make it in such a way that when you adjust, it takes the, you know, the shape of the browser. Okay. All right. So in the next video, we're going to see some of those, um, you know, adjustments. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel so you can get notification whenever I drop a new video. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.